Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a bit of a commentary over a bunch of footage of me making it my own DIY metal foundry, so I guess, uh, here we go. Donkey's Breath now this is a pretty popular design that you've seen over the internet. It's no original, like, real thought. I just wanted to try it for myself and share my experience with you guys. So I'm just going to kind of be going over the commentary here. I'm not trying to steal anyone's ideas or anything. But you just witnessed me mix up the first batch of the cement, which is not actually cement. Don't quote me on that. It's actually a plaster of Paris mixed with sand. And uh, now we're setting up the bucket in the bucket with the steel wool around the edge. If you want to watch how, like, how this is actually built, um, Grand Tom, I can't remember his name, uh, the King of Random or whatever, that's where this is from. I very roughly followed his method, but I just kind of did it for myself and had some fun with it. So, now that I've got it all set up in the bucket there, I got my air chisel, and I'm like, I'm just going to vibrate this mixture a bit and get some of the bubbles out and make it set nicely, so that's what I'm doing right here right now. Yeah, I've got one of my good friends with me, Garrett. He's been helping me out. We were looking for, we were real bored one day, and we were just like, well, actually, it was the day we did this. It was yesterday. And we were just like, okay, let's build a giant catapult. Let's build a trebuchet. Okay, how about a potato cannon? How about a metal foundry? And he's like, yeah, that's actually reasonable. So then it was the third hardware store. We ended up actually finding the, the sack of plaster of Paris. I'm like, all right, I guess this is actually happening. And it was like right beside the steel wool, almost right beside the bucket. It was like a match made in heaven. All right. This year we failed at quite a bit. We were trying to make two lids here. There's a little bit of steel wool in the bottom that we tried to go for support, but this was a second batch. We used, I used too hot of water. And I also just tried to air chisel the thing and broke it because it's nowhere near as durable as the bucket. But anyways, they kind of failed because it was kind of half set up by the time we made them, as well as there's not really any steel wool except the bottom and then there's some air holes and even after smoothing the top out, as Garrett's doing right here with uh, part of the steel wool cardboard packaging, and yeah, they are a failure. But, you know, here, this hole I drilled a little bit too close to the center. I wish it hit more of the side so we got more of a spiral action. But anyways, it still worked. But yeah, a little hole saw while this is half set up. You know, you probably followed the DIY approach. A little look around at what we're doing here. Yeah, look at those disgusting air holes. Yeah, they're a failure. They're getting thrown in the trash. Oh, spoiler alert. Wasn't supposed to say that yet. Because we do use them. Alright, I guess it's time to build the... What is it? What is this called? Like, it always slips my tongue. The crucible. So I got Garrett on the right side. He's grinding off a piece of, I think it's like, four and a half inch pipe. I'm making a hexagonical-ish piece of plate. Already welded on the bottom. We jump forward here. You know how it is in editing. It's just difficult to build things while filming. So here I'm tacking on the sides, the two little eyes, so we can put the handle on our crucible here. I almost wanted to call it a cauldron there. Oops. But anyways, we bent it up. Piece of rebar. Perfect. Boom. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's my favorite part of the whole project, is building this crucible. And the way the handle clips in, it is just... I love it. It worked so well. Sorry, spoiler alert, I'm already telling you we succeeded, but anyways. Little test fit here and there, you know, gotta make sure she fits. Ching ching, I'll make some sound effects. Ching 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 ching, it's metal on metal, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It fits, we all know. Oh, there we go. There's our handle. And here's where the commentary says goodbye. Oh, no, you did open it. I was like, did he even open it? Piece. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. It works. Lift, grab, four. I like it. All right, so I guess it's the first time we're doing the walking the talking thing. We are both wearing steel toes, both wearing FR rated fire gear. Um, nothing too special. Propane tank, tiger torch, lit torch. Got a little safety procedure. We're gonna take her nice and slow here. Got some airflow. We're gonna have an exhaust fan going through here. Yeah, don't, yes, it's fun, isn't it? And uh, we're just gonna give her and then see where we get. But uh, don't try this at home, guys. Just don't do it, it's not worth it.
things. One, I need to practice my pouring skills. What else have we learned, Garrett? Uh, don't pour metal on uh, plywood. Yeah, get better than plywood. What about what about this guy? What have we learned about this? And how we probably need to make a second one a little bit bigger and a little bit uh, better. Not plastic? Well, plastic I knew it was going to get fucked, but it's what we had. Honestly, it works way, way, way. We thought it was going to be way gone, but it's not. Um, we let these, when we poured these covers, it was a second batch. And so we kind of put the steel wool on the bottom and then poured the already half set shit on top and tried to shake it in. You saw the clip earlier. It's up in the corner, you see it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do that better, but we think this one's pretty stable. So I'm gonna, we'll probably cut the bucket off here uh, once this cools down a wee bit and we'll see how it fared and take a closer look at that. But this guy here did super well. Our lifting system was great, our spout was great. It honestly was perfect, and I'm, it's my favorite thing about this whole project. And uh, we used, I would guess, about maybe a little bit more than half the tank. There's still some left, but in future times when I do this, I think I'm going to definitely uh, try and... Yeah, see how fragile that shit is without any uh, support. Stop it, support in it? Yeah, that batch is kind of fucked. But, all right. Catch you in a moment. <laughs> Nice. How hot is this, Garrett? How hot is it? Give me close. Give me 20. close. 20. It's not 20. It's like 100 and something. 50. 75. 20. <laughs> 90. Burn my boot. So, yeah, we're, they're still like over 100 degrees centigrade. But anyway, I think we should have used some like non-stick on this shit because they're stuck as fuck. I think they actually have stuff specifically for doing this. this. Like casting powder, I think it's called actually. When you're, deep, when you're green casting, yeah, there you go. All right, so that's that. We're just cleaning up here, packing everything up. Man, am I enjoyed this project so far. Well, that's still warm. I'm gonna find the one I polished up here. Polish this guy up right like this. I don't know how well that shows, but that's some nice casting if you follow us up. So we're gonna probably build better lids. And uh, I got an idea, something to cast, and we're probably also gonna try and tackle copper with this thing. So uh, yeah. Have a good one.